need a paint scraper. It's locked. It's locked. when the ten daughters are reunited in order. It's stuck. It's locked. It's locked. It's good to know it's here. Hello. I was so wrapped up in my book, I didn't hear you come in. My name is Lewis Chandler. I didn't mean to startle you. I'm Nancy Drew. I came out to help Rose and Abby with the renovations. Yes, well, I'm very glad you're here. Are you a friend of Rose? Yes, I'd like to think so, but I'm an antique dealer, and a client told me that Rose and Abby had recently acquired the estate. I'm an authority on the Victorian era, so they were only too happy to let me use the library in exchange for my advice on the renovations. 
You must know a lot about the house's history. Actually, I'm a bit in the dark about this particular property. However, as far as Victorian mansions go, I don't see anything remarkable about this one. Abby thinks the mansion is haunted. Does she? There have been documented cases of hauntings in older mansions. And I might add, not all of the hauntings were by friendly spirits. What are you using the library for? Research. This library contains many rare books and documents that predate the Great Earthquake. It was quite a find for a student of the Victorian period, such as myself. What are you looking for in these books? I'm sorry, but I'm quite busy at the moment, and although I'd like to talk, I really don't have the time. Please, excuse me. It's stuck. It won't fit. When the four-sided box loses its border,
Drew Residence, Hannah Groon speaking. Hi, Hannah. Nancy, how are you? And how's Rose? Great, I'm really glad you had Rose invite me out here. Her house is so beautiful. I'm so happy you're out there, but I'm worried about all the accidents she's having. There's just been so many. What has Rose said about them? She doesn't say much, but I know they've become worse and worse. That's one of the reasons why I asked you to visit her to see if everything is all right. Do you suspect there's something more to these accidents? <sighs> I don't know. Rose is under a lot of pressure to open that bread and breakfast on time, and I'm worried that it may be too much for her. I imagine the mansion was very expensive. Rose spent her entire life savings on the house. If this doesn't work out, she won't have 30 more years to earn the money back. Well, I should let you get back to your renovation work. Thank you for calling. There's probably no reason for concern. But be on the lookout for anything unusual. Goodbye, dear. Hello? Hi, Bess. It's Nancy. Hi, Nancy. George is here. Let me put her on the speakerphone. Nancy? Hi, George. Hey, what's up? I'm in San Francisco, helping a friend of Hannah's renovate an old Victorian mansion. She wants to open up a bed and breakfast. Unfortunately, some strange accidents have delayed the project. Uh-oh. Well, get this. One of the owners, Abby, thinks the place is haunted by a ghost named Valdez. A ghost? Well, I'm glad I'm not out there. Sounds like another case is in the works. So tell us more about what's been going on. Do you know anything about the house's history? I met the resident handyman, Charlie. He's pretty young, and I don't think he has much experience. Maybe he doesn't charge very much, so he's probably a good bargain for Rose. Or maybe he's just cute. <laughs> Bess, is that all you can think about? No. <laughs> Rose is really lucky. This antique dealer, Louis Chandler, is helping her out, although he doesn't know very much about the house's history. That makes sense. If the house was built before 1906, most of its records were probably destroyed in the earthquake. But wouldn't he know at least something about it if he's some kind of expert on old things? I'm sure he knows a lot about old stuff, just not architecture or houses. I should get going. Talk to you later. Bye, Nancy. Bye. This is Emily. Hi, Emily. It's Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew? I haven't heard from you in ages. How's Hannah in River Heights? You're not in San Francisco, are you, my dear? I sure am. I'm staying with Rose Green, a friend of Hannah's, in a Victorian mansion. I'm helping out with renovations. You know, you're lucky you caught me at home. I've been traveling most of these days, but after that crazy tour of Egypt. By the way, riding a camel is not as easy as it looks. My editor gave me an assignment right here in town. It'll be on the Dragons of San Francisco. I hope you won't be riding them. What were you doing in Egypt? Oh, you know, the usual. Pyramids, bazaars, the Sphinx. But what are you up to, Nancy? Why'd you call? Is there anything I can help you out with? I found some old papers in the house plus a page from a phone directory dated 1894. Oh, that sounds valuable. It's hard to find old documents like that before 1906. Have you heard of an antique dealer named Louis Chandler? Nope, never heard of him. Have you heard of an actress, Lizzie Applegate? Oh, sure, she was a good friend of Lotta Crabtree, another popular actress in the late 1800s. As I recall, she opened up a big hotel. What was it called? The Hotel Mandrake or the Oriental? I forget. Was it in this neighborhood? Is it still around? Oh no, this one was downtown. It was very big, but I think it burned down. Can you tell me about the Chinese writing system? 
I seem to come across a lot of Chinese symbols. Oh, it doesn't surprise me. The Chinese have been an important part of San Francisco history for over a hundred years. The symbols are called Hanzi, and each one represents a particular thing, or an idea, or an action. You find them all over on business cards, takeout cartons, artwork. Have you ever come across hidden rooms in Victorian mansions? No, but I've read that many houses were only partially rebuilt after the Great Earthquake, closing off damaged rooms from the rest of the house. Do you know anything about Valdez? I don't think so. I should get going. Goodbye, Emily. Goodbye, Nancy. I should wait until he leaves. Hey, Nancy. I really need to finish this up. Sorry. coming along. I'm all finished, but you should know what I found. I'm sure it's very interesting, but unless it's really important, I've got other things to worry about. Let's see. If you're any good at fixing things, there's a dumbwaiter in the hallway that's not working. Where did Abby find those papers that are in the parlor? She told me they were in her room, which surprised me since it was completely empty when we moved in. Now the room you're staying in was crammed with furniture. I think most of it was original with the house. How did you find Charlie? He just showed up one day. It was really odd. I remember Abby and I were in the basement talking about hiring someone to help us. 20 minutes later, the doorbell rang and there stood Charlie, looking for work. How do you know Lewis? He stopped by one day to introduce himself. He seemed awfully curious about our property, but he's an antique dealer specializing in the Victorian period. He's been extremely helpful advising us on authentic decor. Have you heard of someone named Lizzie Applegate? No, I haven't. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Goodbye. When the bird of fire can see again, Something's missing here. Mm. 
Something's missing here. When the moon sleeps and the sun plays, wish to speak to you, Nancy. Tonight, I will channel their energies to deliver a message. Meet me down in the basement, if you dare. Please sit down. We really don't have time for this. Let us begin. We are gathered here tonight to contact the shades of those who have passed before us. Gaze into the crystal ball. It will answer all of our questions. What's that? Who has called me forth from the great beyond? We have. Are you the spirit known as Valdez? I was once called that in the world of the living. Are you the spirit who has caused these accidents? I have come back searching for her, my wife. Where can she be? The spirits have spoken. The seance is over. We've got a busy day tomorrow, and no more time for these games, Abby. And make sure you blow out the candles on your way up. I don't want to wake up and find the house on fire. <laughs>